Hey everybody, it's Julie, Julie Wadley, um, matchmaker and relationship coach based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, time for the Daily Love Scope. Thanks for joining everybody. Um, come on in, come on in. What I would love for you guys to do is to, if you can either swipe up or swipe right to share this, um, share this Love Scope with your followers. Um, I'm going to be talking about single parents today and dating. So um, I received this question yesterday off of Facebook from um, a single parent who um, is currently dating. And I'm not sure if she's dating, if she's currently dating or she's thinking about dating. But um, her question was, um, when was the best time to introduce your um, your kids to the person that you're dating. So I wanted to answer this question and I'm not sure if she's on. Um, if she's not, I'm, I'm definitely going to uh, send this to, to you afterwards. So here's the answer to the question. When you are, hey Virginia, hey hey Marnita, hey girl, hey how you, how you doing? Um, when you are dating as a single parent, um, the first thing that you need to know is that you should not be dating as a parent. You should be dating as a man or a woman. Um, in that case, moms and dads, we're always thinking of our children first. We always have their um, their thoughts and their feelings. Um, hey, Florida, hey, how you doing? Hey, T Tallahassee. We always have their feelings in mind. Um, I am a mom um, of two beautiful children, uh, five and six, and uh, believe me, I understand. However, when you are dating, it is about you. It is about your connection with this person. And just like I would tell anybody else who didn't have children, you don't want to really invest too much in each other's lives until you are sure that this person is fitting all of your criteria. So as you're dating, the whole point of dating is to get to the point of the matter. Are you guys compatible? Is there enough chemistry to continue dating? Once you get to the point where you both feel as if you're both hitting the requirements that you've set out for yourselves and you decide as a couple that you want to move from just dating to being in a committed relationship, that's when you start sharing your lives. And in that, you start sharing who is in your life. So the best time to introduce your children to someone who you're dating is never because who you're dating and who you're in a relationship with is are two different people. So you introduce your children to someone who you are in a relationship with. Once you guys have decided that you guys are in a committed relationship, that's when you can start um, making plans to introduce that person to your children. Um, as an aside, I would definitely recommend that if the um, mother or father is in their life, I would recommend telling them first, telling um, the person's mother or father that you plan on telling your children that you have someone new in their life I would I would discuss that with them first not seeking permission but just discussing it first here's why if your children have a relationship with the other mother or father at some point they will tell them either to gauge their feeling or just as a matter of fact or just you know just to let them know the the last thing you want to happen is that they don't know they aren't aware and they aren't prepared to react the way they want to react to that so you don't want there to be tension you don't want there to be a surprise like yo who is this new person in this person's life why am i just now the, why am i just not hearing about it why am i hearing about it from my children you never want that to happen so if you do have a relationship with your with the person's um mother or father and um, they're in your child's life i would suggest telling them first letting them know hey 
there's this new person, um, we're in a committed relationship, and I plan on introducing um, him or her to the kids. Um, just so that everybody's on the same page, everybody knows the message, everybody knows who this person is, so that we're all on the same page. Having a cohesive, happy life is the goal. So you definitely want to do that. Okay, great. You know what? Someone's bumping music right in the background. So uh, great insight and advice. You're welcome. Um, that was the only question that she asked, um, but I'll just throw in there, unless anyone else has any questions, um, being a single parent who is, um, who's in the dating world, who's dating. Um, some parents think with their children in mind when they are dating and and that's there's nothing wrong with that but I do feel like we carry that title around um, when you're a mom or when you're a dad and you're dating you think so much about your children and what they're gonna think and how they're gonna fit into their life and you know you don't want other you don't want people that you're dating to think that you're looking for a new dad or you're looking for a new mom so the way you behave on a date or the way you behave looking for people is skewed. You really want to think for yourself as a man, as a woman, what do you need? What are your individual requirements? Not to say, this is definitely not to say that your children's um, opinions, feedback doesn't matter. However, you should be thinking about yourself first thinking about the connection that you guys have together as a couple or as a potential couple together first before you start thinking about how this person is going to relate to your children because they are going to end up having some type of relationship on their own. It is not your job to find, oh great, I know, I know, right? <laughs> Web Evie, um, I I actually had to leave and go to a, like a, a separate location outside because what I think what was happening is that there were so many people around um, that I couldn't I couldn't really get a strong connection. I don't know if it's because it's getting sucked up by everyone else or um, uptown area just doesn't have really good places. So I decided let me just let me just drive to a place a secure a secluded place so that I can have clear reception. So um, thanks so much for that feedback. I, I really apologize. I think, I think probably I'll just do that from now on. I'll just drive to drive to this place every time that I want to do um, a pair of a uh, love scope. So anyway, um, back to um, dating as a single parent. Stop thinking, um, stop thinking like a mom. Stop thinking like a dad and stop dating like a mom and stop dating like a dad. Um, you're not yet looking for a, a new father or a new mother. That's not the point of you dating. That's not, and if it is, I, you know, I really kind of question, you know, what, what you're in it for. But the whole purpose is to find a connection with someone and to share your life with someone. However, you need to think about yourself first. How does this person make you feel? Do they make you laugh? Do they make you think? Do they, you know, make you a better person? If that's the case, great. But don't say, oh, you know what? This guy or this girl, they're really good. I feel like they'd be really good for my kids or they'd be a really good influence. That's great, but they're not, you're not looking for a tutor. You're not looking for a mentor. You're not looking for a counselor. You're not looking for a coach that you have that in other people. What you're looking for is someone who you can share your life with. So don't, st stop thinking like a mom, stop thinking like a dad. Start thinking like a woman, start thinking like a man because that's what singles who don't have children are doing. And the reason why a lot of people shy away from single parents is not necessarily the, the burden of being someone's father and mother, it's that it's not about them. They will never, ever, ever, in their minds, they will never, ever, ever be number one. They will not be a priority for you. That's what they're thinking. When, they, when you say, I'm a mom, I'm a single mom, I'm a single dad, and you're not helping things when it becomes all about your parents, or it, it becomes all about your kids. So here's my recommendation. If you're doing online dating, 
it's fine to say that you are a mom. It's fine to say that you are a dad. Don't make your entire profile about how, you know, you're all about your kids and, you know, they're this year's old and that year's old. They're really about this and really about that. And I love being a mom. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's one aspect of your life. And apparently it's the most important part because that is all you spent your time talking about. If you say, hi, my name is this, I love skiing, I love um, going to movies, um, my favorite pastime is traveling and eating great foods, um, I have an amazing, you know, 12-year-old daughter that, um, you know, rocks my world and, you know, lists something else. Being a mom is only one, or being a dad, is one aspect of your life. Hey there, hey single moms. Thanks for joining. I see a lot, uh, I see a lot that say, my kid is my number one priority, and if you can't deal with that, mo that right, right, right. And again, as a single parent, of course your children are number one. Of course they're your priority, of course. Nobody is saying anything is wrong with that. But you are looking for a partner for you. Now, as a woman looking for a man, or a man looking for a woman, you need to list what your priority is for that relationship. And when you say, oh, well, I'm, you know, if you can't deal with my kids, you can't deal with me, and, you know, they're, they come first, blah, blah, blah. Look at the energy. Look at the energy that you're putting out. Look at, look at, listen to what you're saying, or, or really think about what you're writing. Because what you're saying is, you're great, but mm, you'll never, never take the place of my kids. Or not, I shouldn't say that. Or you will never be um, more important to me than my kids. It's not easy dating today. Too many folks have agendas. You're right. You're absolutely right. But here's why I, I all, the, all, the, all the clients that I have when I, when I do coaching with clients, I say that you need to be self-centered when you're dating. You need to be, and I'll say that again, you need to be self-centered when you're dating. Being self-centered means you focus on what your requirements are. You focus on someone being added to your life. It doesn't matter what other people's agendas are. It doesn't matter why this person likes you. It doesn't matter why this person doesn't like you. It doesn't matter about the next person. What matters is, is this person a match for you or not? We get really wrapped up, and this is not just about uh, single parents, this is about singles, period. We get so totally wrapped up in what the other person wants and what the other person needs or what, what they want, what this wants, what they're doing and what they're not doing. I had to learn that I don't need a mate. You have to worry about what you want. You have to worry about your requirements. You have to worry about you. You have to be self-centered when it comes to being when it comes to dating. And it's not that's being self-centered and being um, selfish is are two different things. When you are self-centered, you completely understand what it is that you want. You completely know your boundaries, you know what you will, will you know what you will take, you know what you won't take. You know that this person either has made the cut or isn't. Not having to fill a need rather. Yeah. And the thing is, there's nothing wrong with needing companionship. Um, we have everything we need. We have to be open to welcoming some, welcoming someone. And that's the, that's the thing. And I appreciate you guys for saying that. Here's what I want to drive home. As a single parent, as a single without a parent, or I'm sorry, as a single without children, it is really important that you love your life as is. It is really important that you are not dependent on someone else to complete your life. You have to complete your life. It's okay to want. It is okay to want someone to share your life. It is not okay to want someone to complete your life. 
it is not okay to want someone to save your life because that you can never find someone to fill that void for you not it's too much pressure to have some and too much expectation for one person to be all of those things for you so you need to be your savior you need to be the one you want you need to be the one to save you if you can't do that there are resources there are people who can support you getting to where you need to be but that person is not going to be your partner and if you pick first before you invite someone into your life it's almost like and I use this analogy a lot it's like inviting guests over to your house when it is a wreck you do not want to invite oh you're losing connection oh, I'm sorry I hope everybody else can see me um, but it's it's like inviting someone to a dirty home when you're bringing guests over, what's the first thing that you do? You check to make sure you vacuumed, you cleaned up, you got refreshments out, you know, everything looks spick and span. You don't invite someone over where, you know, the cats peed all over the house, you got laundry, you got dishes, you never do that. So you never want to invite someone into your life, to a messy life. You want to invite someone to share a clean, a clean house, a clean home, a clean heart. So try to do that. And if, you, if you're if you at a point where you're like, I really, really want someone, I'm lonely, I don't want to be alone, I really wish that I had someone, but I know that there's all kinds of other stuff going on in my life that I really need to concentrate on. It's okay to want that. It What's not okay is to you engage in, it is for you to engage in a relationship and engage in someone else where you haven't gotten your stuff together. Because all that's going to do is stir up muck. It's going to increase the mess in your life. And now someone else is invited to the someone else is invited to the mess. Someone's invi someone else is invited to the pity party. You don't want that. So um, that was a tangent. But um, all in all, if you is is there anyone else who's a single parent? who has a question about um, either how to introduce the person to your um, to your kids or what's the best way to do it or when you know not not when as in um, timing but like how just really how to do it or you know anything related to being a single parent or seeing being a single parent who's dating if not I will say um, sayonara for tomorrow. Um, and I, I was toying around, I was toying around with this idea, guys. I wanted to do a, I know I've seen a whole lot of um, tw uh, Perry parties uh, where people will have like um, networking and, um, you know, follow for follow um, um, scopes and things like that. I really kind of want to do one for singles. I really want to do one for singles where it's singles only. Um, you guys kind of just come in and it's going to be like a singles mixer, but it's it's going to be via Periscope. You're not going to be able to see each other, but, you know, just as you would network for business on Periscope, why not network for personal? So I was toying around with that idea. You guys let me know if that's a crazy idea that's never going to work or that might be something that I try. If not, I can try it, but I'm not sure. Um, that's just me, in the, be, me, the matchmaker, trying to, uh, you know, connect people and get people together. 
don't blame me don't judge me um, well I don't see anyone who's interested in that so I'll leave that alone but I'm always thinking about something new so um, I'll keep you posted guys on how long how long to wait how long to wait for what um, for introducing your your children if that's the question <clears throat> there's not a time frame um, I'm not gonna say oh six months six weeks two weeks two months um, oh it what if your kids don't like them um, so back to the how long to wait is whenever when whenever you guys have decided that it, you are in a committed relationship that's when you introduce so however long that takes for you guys to agree that you're in a committed relationship that's when you that's when you decide to introduce um, like speed dating wait wait what um, the other question that you asked is what if your what if your children don't like them oh pass the intro oh awesome I like that I like that Evie um, I'll, that's a that's a really cute one I'll, I'll, I'll think about doing that one um, so what if your children don't like them so if your children yeah that would be that would be kind of cool to try um, if your children don't like your the person that you um, are in a relationship with then you need to have a private conversation with your children and get to the root of the problem because a lot of the times it's not them that they dislike it is what they represent they represent the fact that you and your you and his you and his mother or father is not getting back together one minute lag oh okay <laughs> okay so there's a lag gotcha um you know children of people who are divorced or never were never married but set and separated things like that you know we, we always kind of dream that our parents would always kind of get together we everybody's looking for that storybook um family that storybook relationship so it's natural for our our children to want to see their parents together so if they don't like them for that reason totally understandable so what you want to do is help them work through the the frustration and the stress and the anger that they are experiencing because of this breakup you know not every breakup is not every breakup is uh, mutual um, not every breakup is um, happy or easy or you know there's a some sometimes there's a lot of hostility there's a lot of anger there's a lot of frustration there's a lot of bitterness um, involved with breakups with children so you need to address that you need to address that when you are talking about this new person that you that you have started a committed relationship with when you sit your when you sit your children down and say I have um, I'm in a relationship with a new guy or a new girl, woman, and this is who they are, this is what they're about, this is why I like them, this is what they're doing for me, this is the reason why I like them so much, this is the reason why um, they are in my life right now. And your, your, parent, your parents, um, do I need, okay. So I'm illegally parked. I'm a I'm illegally parked right now. So hold on. <laughs> Sorry guys. Okay. So they they're letting me go. Um so you need to sit them down before you do the introduction and tell them all about this new person. And then if they are coming up with these feelings like, "Oh, resistance," help them address that help them come to terms with their anger and their frustration and um, just their their bitterness with not seeing their family back together you know sometimes it's not it's not about them it's really about what what that person represents if they really don't like them then you need to figure out if there's something that they are seeing that you're not seeing and if you're in a committed relationship you should probably have already gotten to the point where you know this person inside and out so um, nothing should really be a surprise but if there is I would definitely um, check it out okay um, so is did, are there any other questions um, I have like a lot of people 
a lot of people looking at me strange. That's the drawback of being in your car. I guess you're not supposed to be in your car talking to what looks like yourself. Um, <laughs> everybody's not up on this Periscope game. So any other questions uh, related to uh, single parents and dating? Thank you for the hearts, by the way. I'm not sure who's doing it, but I, I, I really appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love hearts. Um, all right. So if there are no more questions, and I know that there might be a little bit of a lax, so I'll just I'll just talk slow. But if there are no more questions, um, I will let you guys go for the day. Enjoy uh, the rest of the day. And I will see you tomorrow for tomorrow's Love Scope. Oh, by the way, again, my name is Julie Wadley. I own a matchmaking and coaching business space out of Charlotte. I work specifically with success-driven individuals who want more and more out of life and love. So if this is you, if you are a single parent or you are a single and you're looking for more out of life and love, um, my email address is julie.wadley at elisimone.com. You can certainly reach out to me and um, answer any questions or provide a topic that you'd like me to talk about or if you're interested in any of our services for single singles and couples then um, please uh, visit my website at elisimone.com and um, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow okay bye okay one minute later I'm not sure I'm not sure if uh, there's something follow it following up followed up with that but um, hopefully I'll catch it Hopefully I'll catch it tomorrow. I'll catch it on the replay. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.